Welcome back. When I first envisioned how do they make that stuff, I wanted to include not only large scale production like we've concentrated on thus far, but also the smaller and more artistic ways to make, well, stuff. This week, stained glass art. How do they make that stuff? Creating stained glass art is a lot like a puzzle, but you have to create the pieces yourself. The process begins when the customer and local artist decide the design, size, and colors of the desired work. Lori Beasy has 32 years experience under her belt and is considered the best in town. Once the design has been selected and the patrons have gone over the various colors, then I draw it to size. This is the most creative and most time-consuming part of the process. But for Lori, the most fun. Well, I love to draw. I mean, drawing is what makes my heart sing the loudest. When the drawing is finished, each piece of paper is numbered and then cut. Accuracy is crucial, so a special pair of scissors cuts out a 1 8 inch gap along the lines. The pieces are traced onto glass, etched, and cut. Lori charges by the square foot, and often her pieces contain great detail. If you have a whole bunch of little pieces like this, you're putting an inordinate amount of time. But it's necessary if you want to have perspective in the drawing, you know, to create the depth. The glass pieces have incredibly sharp edges, so they are ground down, allowing the artist to handle them without the fear of being cut. When all of the pieces are ready, copper foil is wrapped around the edges so they can be adhered together. Now that the pieces are in place, the copper edges are cleaned with a tinner's flux. Flux is an a a tinner's acid, and it cleans the surface of the copper so that it will accept and adhere the solder. Lori uses 60-40 solder, 60% tin, 40% lead. When one side is finished, it's flipped over and repeated on the other. To finish off the piece, edges are snapped on and the corners are soldered together. Lori's work is special, but it comes at a price. She charges $255 per square foot. It's just great to be able to make your living as an artist. For News 18, I'm Chris Stanford, and that's how the Chippewa Valley makes stained glass art. How do they make that stuff returns next May? Here's my email. If you have any ideas, send them my way.